September is Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month, and all month long we are committed to bringing you stories about the challenges and hopeful future that this disease has. Our health reporter Haley Hernandez is with us this morning, and she's got the story of how one family moved to our city in hopes of saving their daughter's life. Yeah, so you know what? I see this a lot and probably don't share it enough. How many people move to Houston from all over the world, really, for medical treatment? And since it's Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month, I wanted to share a story of a family family whose toddler went to a hospital in New Mexico with a rash. She was then diagnosed with histiocytosis. When the family searched for the experts in this disease, they found and quickly relocated for Texas Children's Hospital. You've probably never heard of histiocytosis. It's this big scary word we know nothing about. They're making a lot of emphasis on the skin rash, which is the last thing on our mind. Yes, and I was like, who cares about this rash? You know, it's she's got a, some kind of illness. But Jordan and Kaylin Brennan did understand the horrible words that followed. Oncology will be in here sometime today. Hearing their next step was to speak with an oncologist was their worst fear come true. I can't even really like put into words what it was like. It was just such a blow to like your system. That's something you never imagine you're going to get told to you that your one year old has cancer. Baby Hadley's rash was a telltale sign of histiocytosis, a rare pediatric cancer that from the inside painfully pokes holes in the bones and on the outside shows up like an eczema rash. The interesting fact is that it's the same incidence as childhood Hodgkin's lymphoma and everybody knows about Hodgkin's lymphoma. Dr. Kenneth McLean knows all too well how often children are affected by this cancer. He developed a histiocytosis center here at Texas Children's Hospital, and he says Hadley's case was particularly difficult. And her disease was very rapidly progressive. Some children start out with skin rashes like Hadley did. They can have uh, holes in their bones that might be painful, show up on x-rays. Their mouth could be involved so that teeth come in early for an infant. And in fact, Hadley's mouth was very seriously involved. Without treatment, she would have been in trouble very, very soon because her bone marrow was infiltrated with these cells, which means that the normal blood cells would not be made and she'd be at risk for infections or bleeding. The treatment typically includes chemotherapy and steroids. But that therapy overall is quite uh, disappointing because 50% of patients will fail it. They'll either not respond, they'll progress while on the therapy, or they'll relapse off therapy. Hadley wasn't getting any better until Look who's here. It's Hadley. Dr. McLean tried her on a new inhibitor that targets her specific mutation. And there's fantastic news. She's improving and likely only has a few more months of chemo. We could not be happier. And certainly if there's anyone out there, uh, we're proof that this is a great place to treat your child. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, she's about to tickle the doctor. That was a cute <laughs> little video. Uh, Dr. McLean is still running trials, doing research to end histiocytosis, and he's also discovered that similar gene abnormalities are more prevalent in Hispanics than in blacks or Caucasians, uh, which is now spinning even more studies of why that is. So Texas Children's Hospital doing, you know, endless research to try and get answers. And specifically a center for this particular disease. Yeah, and so that's why people relocate here for that. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. incredible. All right. Yeah. Thanks, cool story, Haley. right? Very good story.